As you can see, we're a maritime city with a rich maritime heritage. Going back to the 8th century, ships have sailed up and down this water, and now we are affiliated with HMS Prince of Wales, the newest, the fifth generation aircraft carrier for Her Majesty's uh, Royal Navy. The first major event for the affiliation is around the signing of the Atlantic Charter 80 years ago. We're going to have a lot of important visitors to the city and now we're going to have the commanding officer of HMS Prince of Wales to tell us a little bit more about the Royal Navy's perspective of why the Atlantic Charter is so important. This year is the 80th anniversary of the Atlantic Charter. In August 1941, the President of the United States, President Roosevelt, and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Winston Churchill, met on board the previous HMS Prince of Wales for meetings and also for divine service. Out of that came a statement, which then went forward to produce the foundation and the cornerstone of what we now know as the United Nations and NATO, and produce closer cooperation between the two allies. Bristol has always had very strong links with the United States, but none more important than during this time at the beginning of World War II, when Britain depended on a trade route that came from the US. And in fact, over 300,000 American soldiers, 10% of which were black Americans, were stationed here in Bristol. What's really amazing is that the wife of the president, Mrs. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, actually came to Bristol and spent some time here in 1942. The footage is absolutely amazing. On the 17th and 18th of July this summer, we will be celebrating the Atlantic Charter uh, 80th anniversary. And that celebration will take place in Bristol. Uh, the first Sea Lord will be attending. There will be representatives from the American Embassy here. Uh, the uh, White Ensign of HMS Prince of Wales is going to be marched into Bristol Cathedral with full military honours and it will then hang in Bristol Cathedral for the next 50 years. On these two days of celebration, Bristol people will have the opportunity uh, to come to Bristol Cathedral. Uh, there will be a Royal Marine Band that will play on College Green and the Royal Marine Band uh, will uh, have a beating uh, of retreat ceremony and Bristol people will be welcome to witness uh, and to enjoy that. There will be a corps of drums that will play at a dinner which will take place here on the SS Great Britain on the Sunday evening. Although HMS Prince of Wales will not be able to uh, physically be in Bristol on the weekend of the 17th and 18th of July, the Royal Navy will be sending vessels to be part of this homage to the uh, Atlantic Charter celebration. So there will be two P2000 vessels, there will be a mine countermeasures vessel um, and there will be uh, a number of the ship's crew in and around Bristol. For more information about the events, please look at the website which will give you all the information you require and will signpost you what is happening and when it's happening.